everybody dan here with rnr rv today we're checking out a 2018 cougar 24 sab uh, beautiful design on this guy the white front cap uh, and you can see uh, say you're setting up after work one night you can see how much light you're getting up here to the front makes it really easy to connect and disconnect uh, lights are easy as a switch as well as the electric tongue jack touch of a button up and down hard plastic cover over the propane tanks as well as a nice out of the way place to keep your batteries you're gonna have scissor jacks in all four corners and as well as these really nice looking frameless windows. I'll show you how they open in a second. I think I already opened one so you can see what they look like from the outside too. Uh, battery disconnect, but a nice big storage area down here. Your water connections, and I did. I did open one of the windows. I always talk about and try to explain how they open and close. They both open this way, but you can see the design of how they open. Uh, so water is gonna hit here and just trickle down. Pretty cool. Uh, but frameless windows all around. Uh, some of these are framed. I also opened this one so you can see the difference. Obviously, you can't have the, the frameless windows on the side or because they'll, they'll get caught on them. You see how they stick out? They get caught on the slide. Um, outside shower, water heater. Uh, we also have out the, the additional storage. So if you want to hook up or have some bikes set out up here, anything like that, uh, kind of cool. And if you have your um, spare tire, I hope you never have to use it, but peace of mind, you know it's there. And this is the back of this guy. I also have the awning out just a little bit for you to see. You can really see it's almost the full length of the coach. You have two entries in this guy as well, which is kind of nice. One's gonna be right here into the main living area. Two big marine speakers. It's got this nice big, big window here as well. And the other's gonna come directly into the, uh, the bedroom and bathroom. And then finally right here, you're gonna have a little area hook up a external solar device. And it might even come with the turtle, I don't know. <laughs> Turtle's optional. Um, nice big easy grab handle here, uh, as well as the three steps, make it nice and easy to get up into. And look at this, You're right into here. We're gonna do the kitchen, we'll make a big full circle. But right here you're gonna have your dinette, uh, speaker right here, you're gonna control the speakers inside and outside. And I even kind of skipped over it, but right here, uh, you can check all your levels, turn on your water heater, your slides, everything is right here in one spot. Uh, so right here, obviously your dinette, easily gonna seat four people here, storage underneath, uh, table's gonna fold up and down, it's also portable, I can move it. And in this back corner here, you also have your TV. And it slides out, you know, you can kind of put it however you need to use it. So if you're out here on your hideaway bed, folds out, you can turn this and the kids can watch a, can watch a movie while they're going to bed. Up here, you got some overhead storage, goes all the way through as you can see. Put this back in there. Uh, coming this way, you're gonna see the, the bathroom has a dual entry, you can come in here or straight through here. Um, porcelain toilet. Undisputed champion of toilets. If you do not want a plastic one, if you you can handle it. Uh, and a nice big shower here. Lots of good space. I'm six foot one. Um, I can easily shower on this guy. Coming on out. Nice big sink. Actually, really nice medicine cabinet too. And a little area down here. Keep extra tissue, things like that. Uh, here's gonna be your master bedroom. There's gonna be some storage underneath here. Uh, it's nice to put uh, some of like your suitcases and stuff in there when you're traveling, uh, or if you're gonna stay somewhere for a long period of time. But his and hers wardrobes. Storage all the way up to the top. Uh, and then you're gonna see you have uh, little side tables on each side. Uh, so if you need to set up like a CPAP machine or anything like that, you got plenty of room. As well as you'll see up here, you'll have uh, a couple USB ports and a cigarette lighter. So if you, uh, biggest use I could see for that is like I was traveling and I forgot my phone charger, but I have my portable charger in my car, or my truck in this case. Um, I could plug that in right there and charge my phone. Other side. I also like, you notice how quiet it was when I was walking around here. That's because they opted for um, blinds in this instead of shades. I mean, I'm sorry, backwards. They opted for shades 
instead of the like the blinds that are very loud when you're walking around, they're crinkling every time you walk around. It's extremely quiet. Ah, the stabilizer jacks. I don't even believe it down. You can see how how solid these are. The window here opens just like so. There's just a knob, up and out. Really easy. Locks into place. It's close. I'm kind of all over the place right now. Sorry about that. I got excited. I didn't want to forget. Uh, right here is going to be your pantry. These are adjustable. You can move them as needed. So if I wanted a level here, 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 instead of just here at the bottom, easy to do so. A uh, nice big drawer right here. This is going to be our hideaway bed right here. So this is going to come out, sit here. So we're going to have beds one, two, and then master bed three in this guy. Uh, sleep in six pretty comfortably. And then finally, we'll work our way into the kitchen. Um, I love that we have nice drawers right here, as well as a place to put our uh, a garbage can. Uh, two key things in any kitchen you're looking for, actually three, four. The four biggest things I'm looking for in a kitchen are all right here in one spot, so let's hit it. A, we're looking for drawers that are easy access for when we're cooking. B, we're looking for a place to keep an actual real garbage can. C, we're looking for enough space in, oh, it's got one of those lock things. All right, guys, I tried to lower that rack with one hand, but I just couldn't do it. Um, enough space north, spout, north and south to cook uh, like a real pasta dish or um, a casserole dish or something that's more than just like a frozen pizza at the top. And then a big double bowl sink for doing dishes in. So often, especially in these smaller units, you'll find just a single top sink right here. Almost impossible to do dishes. Um, definitely, definitely four key things we're looking for, and it's really nice that they're actually all right here in this one place. Uh, light and a fan, so if you burn food like me, it's all right here. As well as a nice microwave. So this has been the Cougar 24, the 2018 version. Um, really, really nice floor plan. Um, for a for a 24 foot coach, sleeping six pretty comfortably. Uh, nice big bathroom, and then a private uh, bedroom for for the parents. So my name is Dan with R and R RV. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. My email is down below. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to see our latest inventory, and give us a thumbs up if you like this stuff. Thank you so much.